everybody, and welcome to Kids Zone. I hope that you are ready for today's lesson because I have something very special for you that I hope you will enjoy. But first, let us praise and worship. This light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.
hope you enjoyed that praise and worship. And remember, we must always worship the Lord our God. No matter where we are or what we are doing, we can always worship God. Okay, so are you ready for today's lesson? So today's lesson is, Our God is Creative. So the scripture for today reads like this. God looked at everything that he had made, and he saw that it was very good. Genesis 1, verse 31. Now, do you know what God made everything? Well, he made the earth, and he made you, and he made me. So he looked at us. And he said that everything was good. So today we're going to look at everything God has made and how creative he was while making the earth and while making us. So while we are busy, please remember that the blue group, you have your lesson notes. I want you to put today's date on it. You can... Memorize today's verse. Remember I said you can do that with a song, with words, with sentences, with a picture, anything you want to do to memorize the verse. You can add notes. You can say what you want to thank Jesus for. You can write that down. And you can write down four things that you want to pray for this week. And the yellow group, you have your picture that you can color for today. So in Genesis 1, we read about how God created earth. It says, In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. The earth was without shape and it was empty. Deep water covered the earth, and everywhere was dark. The Spirit of God moved above the water. God said, There will be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good. He separated the light from the dark. God called the light day, and he called the dark night. Evening passed, and then it was morning. That was the first day. Then God said, A wide space will appear between the waters, so the waters will separate into two places. So God made a wide space. He separated the water and the space from the water that was above it. And what God said happened. God called the white space sky. Evening passed, and then it was morning. That was the second day. God said, The water that is under the sky will come together in one place. Then dry ground will appear. And what God said happened. God called the dry ground land. He called the water that had come together sea. God looked at what he had made. He saw that it was good. Then God said, the land will cause plants to grow. There will be plants with their seeds and trees with their fruits. Each kind of plant and tree will have its own seeds and fruits. And what God said happened. All kinds of plants and trees began to grow in the ground. The plants made seeds. The trees made fruits with seeds in them. Each plant made its own kind of seeds. God looked at what he had made. He saw that it was good. Evening passed, and then it was morning. That was the third day. God said, There will be lights all across the sky. They will separate the day from the night. They will show the seasons, days, and years. The lights in the sky will give light to the earth. And what God said happened. God made two great lights. The brighter light ruled over the day. The less bright light ruled over the night. 
God also made the stars. God put all these lights in the sky to shine their light on the earth. They were to rule over the day and night. They were to separate the time of light from the time of dark. God looked at what he had made. He saw that it was good. Evening passed, and then it was morning. That was the fourth day. God said, The waters will become full with many living things. Birds will appear and fly above the earth, all across the sky. God made big animals to live in the sea. He made every different kind of living thing that filled the sea. He made every different kind of bird to fly in the sky. God looked at what he made. He saw that it was good. God blessed all of them. He said to them, Give birth to many young ones so that you grow in number. Fill all the water in the seas. The birds also, sh also should become very many all across the earth. Evening passed, and then it was morning. That was the fifth day. God said, Different kinds of animals will now appear on the land. There will be livestock and wild animals. There will also be other small animals that move along the ground. There will be many kinds of animals, and each kind will be different. And what God said happened. God made the different kinds of wild animals and the different kinds of livestock. He made all the different kinds of animals that move along the ground. God looked at what he had made. He saw that it was good. Then God said, We will make humans so that they are very much like us. They will rule over the fish in the sea and over the birds in the sky. They will rule over the livestock. They will rule over the whole earth and all the animals that move along the ground. God made humans. He made them to be like himself. He made some of them males and some of them females. God blessed them. He said to them, Give birth to children. Grow in number. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea. Rule over the birds in the sky. Rule over every different kind of living animal that moves along the ground. Then God said, Listen, I now give to you every plant on the earth as your food. I give you every plant that has seeds in it. I give you every tree that has fruit with a seed in it. I give them to you for food. But I give to the animals green plants for their food. That will be food for the animals on the earth. All the birds in the sky and all the animals that move along the ground. Everything that has life may eat every kind of green plant. And what God said happened. God looked at everything that he had made. He saw that it was very good. Evening passed, and then it was morning. That was the sixth of the day. In that way, God finished making the heavens and the earth, as well as everything in them. The seventh day came. Then God stopped the work that he had been doing. He had finished his work and he rested on the seventh day. God blessed the seventh day. He made it a special day because he had finished making everything. He did not work on that day. Okay. So, what do you think about God's creation? And then it took him seven days to create the earth and us. He created all the animals, everything you see, every single day, God made. And it took him seven days because he put all the effort in it to make it perfect. Now, before we start, I'm going to let us play a little game. It's called Draw A. So you're going to get your workbooks, and I am going to play the game with you. So you're going to get your workbooks, and then I am going to give you a picture to draw. You don't have to draw it big. You can just draw it small. But I want you to draw the picture as fast as you can. Okay. Are we ready? All right. Here we go. So the first picture is draw a... 
fish. That's quite easy. Let's draw a fish. There you go. Are you done? Good. Let's see how your fish looks like. One, two, three. Oh, that's my fish. I think God's fish is way better than mine. Are you ready for the next one? Let's see. Draw a flower. Ooh, this is very hard to draw very quickly. Are you ready? Did you draw your flower? Are you ready to see mine? There it is. Okay. Did you get it in time? <laughs> All right. Let's see what the next one is. Draw a tree. That's quite easy. But I think God took way longer to draw, to make a tree than we can draw them. Are you ready? Let's see. There's my tree with apples. I like apples. <laughs> Are you ready for the next picture? Okay, the last one. Let's see. Draw a house. You can draw a big house with many windows and a big roof. Let's see. Are you done? One, two, three. There's my house. Well done. Okay. So, did you enjoy this activity? All right. Now, how you were drawing the fish and the tree and the flower and the house Imagine that that is how God put effort into creating you and me and everything around us. So he took so much care of us, so much that he knows every hair on our head. So I drew a fish, and I guess you did too, very quickly. But God made a fish, and it, he gave it so many different colors of scales, and he made every fish in the sea different. Not one animal or one person is exactly the same because God made every one of us unique. Isn't that amazing? Doesn't that make you happy to know that God spends so much time to create you? So, we are going to do something a little bit different. So I want you to sit comfortably, and I'm going to show you some pictures. I want you to sit quietly and just look at the pictures. And while you look at the pictures, I want you to think of the words that comes to mind that describes the pictures that you are looking at. Do you think you can do that? Well done. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, here it goes.
Okay, did you enjoy the slideshow? So that is everything that God created. I took some of my favorite pictures of things that I like that God made and I put it into the slideshow. But now I want us to do something before we see what words the slideshow made us think of. I want you to get a mirror. Or you can take your cell phone camera and look into the selfie camera or anywhere where you can see yourself. And I want you to look into the mirror. And while you look into the mirror, I want you to think of the words that you have thought of while watching the slideshow. So it can be words like the things I thought of. It can be beautiful. It was beautiful. It was awesome. It was cute. It was majestic. It was wonderful. And it was great. Now, I want you to look at yourself, and I want you to add those words to yourself. Because if God can make everything else beautiful, cute, awesome, and wonderful, he made you as well. So you need to remember that he made you beautiful, great, awesome, and wonderful as well. And God does not make mistakes. So whenever you think that you are not any of these words, I need you to remember that God has made you and God does not make any mistakes. So let's close our eyes in prayer for closing our session today. Dear Lord, Thank you for making such a wonderful, beautiful world. Thank you for making each and every one of us unique and perfect in our own way. Help us to always remember that we were created by you, Lord, and that you never make mistakes. We thank you, Lord, for creating us. Amen. Are you ready for our activity time? All right, let's see. So, the blue group. I want you to take out your activities, activity lessons three, lesson three. And you will see that in your packet, you got a little balloon and some sweets. So, I hope you enjoy that. Yellow group, you also got a balloon and sweets. So, I hope you enjoy that. Okay, there's some stickers for you so that you can decorate your lesson however you want to. So we have this page. So what I want you to do is we are going to cut out the top, which is the pictures. So God made earth in seven days. So there's seven pictures, one picture for every day. I'm going to help you with that now. Then you're going to cut out the bottom part as well. And you're going to match the saying to the picture. But first I'm going to show you which pictures is in which order. So can you remember what came first? What did God make first? He made, it, he made light to create day and night. So that will be your first picture. Can you remember what was the second thing God made? The sky and the water. Very good. Can you remember the third thing that God made? He made land. So he separated sea and land. And he put all the trees and flowers on the land. The fourth was the stars and all the lights in the sky. So the stars, the moon, and the sun. The fifth thing God made was all the animals in the sea. And the sixth thing he made was all the animals on land. And us humans to rule over everything. Everything. 
And what did he do on the seventh day? Yes, he rested and he looked at everything he has made. And he decided that it was good. Well done. So you are going to take the sayings and you're going to add it to the correct picture in order. And you can paste that into your workbooks. Okay. Yellow group, let's see. So you got a few things in your box today. So you also got stickers for decoration. You are happy. You can use that. Then I want you to open your book. So we're going to do our activity in your book today. So what we are going to do, so God was creative. So today we are going to be a little bit creative. So we are going to make our own flowers. Okay, so remember I told you to go and get leaves from, leaves from outside. So you're going to need leaves. You're going to use the little pom-poms that is in your bag. You can use your stickers if you want to, and you can use the colored paper. Okay, so what is things that a flower must have? So we have the middle part, that is the round part. So what we can do, you can create your own flower using all of the stuff that I gave you. And you can do it exactly how you want to. If you want mommy to help you, you can let mommy help you as well. The color paper, you can draw on and make shapes and make your flower just as you want to. So I'm going to show you an idea. So I want my middle to be pink. So I am going to make a circle and cut it out. And you can make your leaves however you want to. If you want square leaves, you can have square leaves. If you want triangular leaves, you can have triangular leaves. You can make this picture however you want to. And then paste it in your book to create it. Okay. And then on mine, I want to make it cute, so I'm going to put a smiley there. There you go. And you can use this as well, so remember that. So I am going to make a long... I don't know. And then, remember, when we're done, you can send everything on the WhatsApp group because I would love to see how your flowers look like. So share it on the WhatsApp group and show everyone how much fun you had creating your flowers. Blue group, are you winning with your activity? Remember, you can also go and get your Bible and read Genesis 1. If you, to help you with your activity to put it in correct order. You can always go to your Bible for the answers. Okay, so here are what I'm going to do. I think my flower should have triangular leaves. You think that will look cute? I think so. And remember, this is your creation. Like God created us, you are creating flowers. 
So no, it can't be right or wrong. How you want to create it is how you create it. Okay, let's see. And you can take a while with this. Remember, God didn't make us in one second. He spent time making us to make us perfect. And then you can use your leaves as well. There you go. Let's give it some leaves as well. And you can also use your little pom-poms. And whatever is left, you can keep if you don't use everything. You can keep, and then we can use it in a next time. So I want to use my pink ones. I wonder how it will look like. There you go. All right. And there is my flower. I am very excited to see how your flowers will look like. So please send it to us on WhatsApp whenever you are ready. And there you go. My flower is done. That is how it looks like. Okay, let's see. So this is how my flower looks like. I am very excited to see what you guys have created. Okay. Blue group, how are we doing? Did you get the answers? All right. Then we have some extra fun. So in your packet, the yellow group and the blue group will get a picture frame like this. So what you can do is you can create your own garden. So if you want pink trees or blue trees and yellow water, then you give your garden all of that. So I want you to create your own garden in this picture. Then you can decide. You can either put it in the book or you can hang it on your wall to look at. But I want to see pictures, to see how creative you guys can be because I know that you can be very creative. So I really hope that you enjoyed this activity. All right, so that is what we have today. Uh, I will post the answers on WhatsApp afterwards so mommy and daddy can see if you did the lesson correctly. And that is all for today. So, I hope to see you next Sunday at 10.30 South.
same place. Bye!